Hey boys and girls, uh, the story I'm going to read to you is called The Little Red Hen. And The Little Red Hen is one of my favorite books because um, as siblings, as you get brothers and sisters, all of us have chores to do. And it seems like the bigger brothers and sisters always get finished their chores before the smaller kids. And then you be around there asking them, would they help you? And they always saying, no, 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 no. They don't want to help. They don't want to help do that. So, I always like this story, The Little Red Hen. Because at the end, when you have something or somebody give you something, the most siblings, brothers and sisters, always want some. So, this story reminds me of my brothers and sisters. The Little Red Hen. And it's by Bonnie Dorfman. And it's retold. It's not like the old version of the Little Red Hen. This is a new version. The Little Red Hen. Once upon a time, there were four friends who lived together in the barnyard. A dog, a goose, a hat, cat, and the Little Red Hen. The dog was a lovely, the dog was a lively puppy who liked to play all day. After all, he said, who will chase balls and do tricks if I don't? The cat was a handsome animal who liked to groom himself. After all, he said, who will take care of my looks? If I don't. Okay, let's see what we do. The goose was a talkative bird who liked to gossip. After all, she said, who would share the news of the day if I don't? And the little red hen, she's just like to figure out what need doing and do it. Whatever's need to be done, she's gonna do it. Okay. One day, the four friends decided to move together to a cozy cottage near the river. They were very happy there. The dog played all day in their big front yard. The goose walked to the farmyard each morning and always came back with new stories to share. The cat washed himself on the sunny window sills and the little red hen, she cleaned the house, worked in the garden, cooked the food, and did whatever else needed doing. I see them. He's out there just uh, jumping up and down, playing, and then the old goose, she's just wobbling over there to the farm yard to find out what's going on and then the cat is sitting up there on the windowsill in the tub just taking a bath and then the little red hen is getting ready to do what she getting ready to mop okay let's see what happened one afternoon the little red hen swept out the shade and found a bag of wheat seeds excited she brought the bag back to the cottage look what i found she said let's see what she found See the bag of wheat seeds? And so what's she going to say? Who will help me plant these seeds so that we can have wheat to bake some bread? Not I, said the dog. I have to play with the play with my stick today. Not I, said the cat. I have to groom my fair today. Not I, said the goose. I have to talk to the cow today. She has news about the goat. All right, said the little red hen. Then I plant the seeds myself, and she did. She hoed the ground and planted the seeds and watered them well and pulled the weeds. She got the sack of seeds, and she hoed the what? Ground right there. She planted the seeds. 
She watered them and she weeded them. And then, you know, think about that. What? Okay, if you plant a flower, what do a flower need to grow? It needs the what? The sunlight, it needs water, and it needs soil. So she had all of that. Okay. Soon a fine patch of wheat was growing tall in the sunlight. The wheat is ready for harvest, said the little red hen. Who will help me harvest it? Not I, said the dog. I have to bury my bone today. Not I, said the cat. I have a I have to smooth my whiskers today. Not I, said the goose. I have to visit the pig today. He said there's a scander with the sheep. All right, said the little red hen. Then I harvest the wheat myself. And she did. She cut the wheat, then she gathered and tied it up in bundles and stacked it outside. And I see. They just bull jabbing around. They just don't want to help do anything. Okay. Now the wheat must be ground into flour, said the little red hen. Who will help me pull the wagon to the miller? Now I say the dog, today is the day I chase rabbits. Now I say the cat, today is the day I clean between my toes. Now I said the goose, today is the day. The goat said he'd tell me the secret about the cow. And all of them have excuses not to what work. All right, said the little red hen. Then I'll pull the wagon myself. And she did. She cleaned the wagon and loaded the wheat and went to the millers down the street. She's very smart. The next morning, the little red hen was ready to bake. Who will help me make the dough? She asked. Not I, said the dog. I'm busy chasing my tail. Not I, said the goose. The dust might make, make it hard for me to talk. Not I, said the cat. The flower will miss my clean fur up. All right, said the little red hen. Then I make the dough myself. And she did. She gathered up eggs, milk, yeast, flour, and mixed and kneel them nearly for an hour. See? Okay, that's what happened. Now, said the little red hen, who will help me bake the bread? Now I said the dog, it's time for me to take a nap. Now I said the cat, I really must get my beauty sleep. Now I said the goose, I absolutely must rest my voice. All right, said the little red hen, then I'll bake the bread myself. And she did. She built the fire a difficult chore and slid the pan through the oven door. She cleaned the mess that the bacon had made and finally went out to rest in the shade. See, they just, they just don't want to help. They don't want to help. They don't want to help. And she made that loaf of bread. And then she put it in the oven. And now look at the aroma. The aroma is the smell of the bread. As the afternoon wore on, the wonderful aroma of bacon bread drifted through the cottage. It tickled the noses of the napping dog, the sleeping cat, and the resting goose. They sniffed, they smiled, they opened their eyes. What is that heavenly smell? Asked the goose. Why, it's just my fresh baked bread, said the little red hen. And who will help me eat it? I would say the dog jumping up from the rug. I would say the cat leaping down from the windowsill. I will scritch the goose for getting to rest her voice. Oh, they ready to eat. Look at the cat licking his lips. The dog got his tongue out. 
and the geese got her eyes set on that bridge. But do you think she gonna get in? Are uh, they gonna get anything to eat? What you think? Should the little red hen give them something to eat? What you think? You will ask the little red hen, but you let me do everything else. I hold the ground and planted the seeds and watered them well and pulled the weed. I cut the wheat, then gathered and tied it up in bundles and stacked them outside. I cleaned the wagon and loaded the wheat and went to the millers down the street. I gathered up eggs, milk, yeast, and flour, then mixed and kneeled for nearly an hour. I built fire, a difficult chore, and slid the pan through the oven door. I cleaned the mess that the bacon had made, and then, only then, did I rest in the shade. So do you So do you want do so do you know what? I think I'm going to eat this bread myself. And she did. So she she gave them anything to eat? Nah. But the next time the little red hen needed help around the house, nobody said, not I. Because why? Because that bread smelled so good. That they wanted some. So the next time, they knew to help. Right? Okay. And that's the end of the story. The little red hen. And I hope you enjoyed it.